Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to your Energy Booster Podcast, where we deep dive into the heart of growth and transformation. This is once again your show host, Chinese Padilla, and in today's episode, we will embark on a special series about parenting. As of this recording, um... This month, we will be celebrating Mother's Day, and I just think that it's so timely to discuss and to learn about how to become great parents so we can raise great children, the ones who will inherit the future and the ones who will become the future world leaders and world changer changers yeah so whether you're just beginning or navigating the ongoing journey of raising children this series is here to offer support insight and a touch of spiritual wisdom so let's set the sail on our parenting journey um for those of you who doesn't know me i am a mother of two amazing kids uh my daughter is 13 uh, as of this recording and my son is nine And you all, they are both just, they amaze me every day. I love them so much from the bottom of my heart. But, you know, I am not, I'm not perfect. I have my own struggles and challenges in this journey too. And what a timely, what a timely um moment to just share this journey with you as a mother uh as of this recording uh, i think yeah just last week uh, i sent my kids to have their annual physicals and you know uh, my daughter is 13 so she has moment she had a moment with a doctor and they are uh, all the um interviews happened and after that um i was informed that my daughter was diagnosed with depression so yeah i was shocked really really shocked although um i know that she would have moments and she would be yeah sometimes i can i can hear her crying in her bedroom i would knock and ask her sometimes she would have moments that she would have you know anger um issues that she would just be angry right she couldn't couldn't control her anger but yeah i, I thought you know th- um this is just about hormones and so Yeah, it turned out that um, they were alarmed because uh, she had thoughts of, you know, thoughts of just being dead, just, you know, to just be invisible and not not being alive anymore. And so we are in America and things like this um, is a big deal here. I mean, you know, to be honest, when I was in that age, I had that moments too, but yeah um in our country you know and you know my my parents weren't even aware of it and you know everybody's everybody was just busy and i just had to deal with it and when i told the um doctor about it she said and she had a point and i totally agree with it she said um things shouldn't be as hard with her Like if I went through that and it was not really addressed as it should be, um, then with my daughter right now that it should be addressed well so we can move forward and she can, you know, she can get over this. We all can get over this because this is a family thing. And this is for me a warning from, from my father in heaven, from our father in heaven that, 
you know, although I think I'm doing everything already for her, then I should be doing more and be listening more to what God wants me to do because I'm just a steward. She is a child of God and I just, you know, she's just borrowed and God is entrusting me on, on raising her because God has a better plan, has big plans for her future, not just for her and for, you know, for our kids. God has has a brighter and better and bigger plans for our children. And so as parents, we need to pay attention. And yeah, that's where this is all coming from. And if there is someone who will benefit from all of these discussions and learning, so we all can, uh, can uh, uh, unravel today or we're going to uncover today, then it's me. And I want, th- I want this or I want to share this to you as well, especially if you are a parent, a mother, a dad, um, who are raising children in whatever milestone they are right now in their lives. I know it is not easy. Raising children is 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 very rewarding, but very challenging. And just one mistake, we can lead them astray and we don't want it for them. So yeah, just sharing a little bit of where where I am coming from. And so let's set the sail on our parenting journey and let's learn together. So there you go. Parenting, this profound responsibility isn't just about the basics of, of care, but guiding a new soul. When you look at your child's eye, that's a soul. In, there's a soul inside it, a soul that's helpless, that's fragile, that's amazing and beautiful. And the soul, you know, we need to guide the soul, you know, through the com- complexities. Life is full of conflicts it's complex not simple it's it's hard y'all okay so today we start with foundational truths and how and how to prepare ourselves for this incredible journey supported by of course the scriptural wisdom and real life coaching remember i'm not just coaching you in here i'm coaching myself as well and let's do it all together okay and let's all base this in the bible because that's our manual that's our user's manual that's where we should we should yeah, that's where we should go when we have questions because that's the guide. That's our guide and how to live life according to how we are designed or made by our creator. And so let's begin. Let's do this, okay? So in the Bible, we find numerous um, stories of parenting, right? each filled with its own challenges and triumphs. So take, for example, the story of Jochebed. You know her? She's the mother of Moses. Yeah, she was the one who raised the famous leader of, uh, of, yeah, of Israelites to deliver them from slavery to the promised land it was a big task y'all so yeah if our kids will have if we see our kids having great futures ahead of them then yeah that future y'all lies on us if you want to raise great children we need to be great parents and we need to be a great person first and that's that's big, I know. So 
her faith led her to protect her son against all odds because they're they're killing all the boys all the baby boys during that time so yeah she placed him in a basket on the nile what a risk right like what a risk but i know her faith was so big and he trusted and she trusted god god will protect the baby because god has had a bigger plan for this child. And so she did that. And here we see the depths of parents' love and the trust in God's greater plan, which is essential. You know, it is an essential anchor for all parents. That was a big move, right? To, in order to protect her child, she had to let him go and trust God for protection. And sometimes it's so hard as, a parents, as parents to do that because we want to be in control. We forget that that child is from God. And so we really have nothing to worry about but to entrust them to God for safety and protection. And so we have to surrender, surrender them to God, surrender our parenting to God. Because if it's just us, oh, it will be a disaster. It was just me. Huh. I'm, I'm, I'm broken. I'm, uh, uh, yeah, it's just like, yeah, if I see myself, if it's just me making decisions and making reactions from what my children will throw at me, oh, it's always a disaster. But when I ask, ask God for, for, for guidance and for just, you know, working in my life and how I get, I'm going to react to all this, you know, ever, whatever my kids are throwing me, then I know that it's for the good. I know that <laughs> I, I'm a better person when I let God do that for me. Yeah. I, I, I can't do it my way. I can't do it all by myself. I have to entrust this parenting journey to I have to anchor to God and let his power work on me and not my own. Okay. So like, yeah, I hope, I hope you can relate to that too. Because uh, it's not just all about me. I'm sharing this journey to you so we can all both grow and become great parents. So we can, yeah, can raise better children and, you know, better future for them. And yeah, by, by faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child. Our children, they're not ordinary. They're God's children. I'm just trying to remind you of that. And I'm also reminding myself, okay? And they were not afraid of the king's edicts. There's no fear. If we believe that God is with us, what is it that enemy can throw at us? Yep. greater is he that that is in us than he that is in the world so there's no fear and that's you know in hebrews 11 23 from jochebed's story we draw our first lesson in parenting the power the power of faith and protection as we set the sail on our journey how can we create a protective and nurturing environment for our children while trusting in God's guidance? That would be a very good question that we can ask ourselves. How can we create a protective and nurturing environment for our children while trusting in God's guidance? It's For me, it's just total surrender. Total surrender to God's guidance. God's providence, God's power, God's wisdom. We need to ask for God's wisdom and discernment and how we're going to raise these kids because it was just us. I, I said it earlier, I'm going to say it again. It's a total disaster. 
So let's discuss expectations. It's crucial to acknowledge that while parenting is immensely rewarding, it's also challenging, right? Our coaching tip today is about setting realistic expectations. Understanding that each child is unique. We cannot compare them from other kids, which is so tempting. And I know my parents, you know, because I can remember they 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 did that. <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, they they just did what they knew they can, they could uh, at that moment in their lives. And so we need to change that. We can never compare our kids to anyone. And yeah, while societal preferences and comparisons can sway us, grounding our expectations and faith and individuality helps us navigate more smoothly. I know it's easier said than done. But that's why we need to grow ourselves, better understand ourselves first, forgive us ourselves from, from, you know, from all the wrongs we did to us and to our children. And let's start afresh. Let's start anew. And it's never too late. Communication, as we often say, is key. And it's hard to communicate. I know. Sometimes I cannot I cannot express myself well. Because if it's just me, I wouldn't have self-control. I'll just lash out, yell, shout, and be angry. But that's just me. Yeah? So I needed to anchor to God every minute of the day. Because I am weak, but with God's power, I am strong. And you too, you are strong. You have God's power. When you anchor your life, your journey, and you surrender yourself to His divine command. Psalms 19, 14 says, Let our words and thoughts be pleasing to God. As we speak with our children, our communication should reflect not just our love and discipline, but also our respect for their thoughts and feelings, paving the way for honest and open interactions. I know it's hard. So it takes practice, it takes a habit, it takes a lot of prayer, takes a lot of growing. And let's not give up on our children. Because I know we can give up on a lot of things, but not on our children. Because they are, they are from God. God has entrusted us to care for them. So, yeah, we can never give up on them. We need to move forward and keep on growing in love and faith and respect and trust and discipline for the sake of our children's sanity. Psalms 19.14 says, May these words of my mouth and this medita- meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. This brings us to the importance of community. We could never do it all by ourselves. We need, we need a tribe to help us navigate through deep waters of parenting. Like Moses, who was supported not by not only his family, but also the daughter of Pharaoh, we too need a community, family, friends, church members, and educators, you know, coaches, mentors. They can all be a part of the support system that help us, helps us and our children to thrive. 
As we close today's episode, remember, setting a sail or setting the sail is just the beginning. Each day in parenting is a new opportunity to lead with faith, hope, and love. Be gentle with yourself and trust in the journey. So, join me again next time for the next episode on these series on navigating this and navigating the deep waters of parenting. Next, we will be talking about anchoring stability, which is building consistency in the tides of change. We will explore how creating a stable environment helps our children and us grow in faith and character. Until then, keep your sail set and your compass true. You've been listening to your Energy Booster Podcast. If you found today's episode in reaching, please subscribe and follow me in all my social media platforms. And feel free to share it with your fellow parents on this journey, the divine journey of parenting. Stay tuned and stay inspired. I love you and God bless. Bye for now.